Hello and welcome back to my channel. It's Monica from Crafting with Quilling Lady and I hope you have an absolutely wonderful day. In today's video I'm going to show you how to create this autumn candle holder using Rhenia fold papers. It is perfect for those long autumn evenings, so let's have a look how to make it. First you need any glass jar and I use this one from Doritos Salsa and any string you've got at home. We also need some beautiful leaves and pumpkin stamps and I use this one from Autumn Blessing Set that was a free gift with Simply Cut and Paper Craft issue 220. I've got an acrylic block from Rinia, a black stays on ink and 91% alcohol in my spritzer because it is crucial to move all those colors around. We also need some scissors, an air blower and alcohol markers. And I use a set from Classic called Basics. And I've got four different colors and we also need some Rhenia fold paper. And this one is Arctic Star Track with beautiful stars. And to put all those elements together, we need a glue gun. So first you start applying all those colors on Rhenia Arctic Stashrack fold paper and you don't have to be very precise, you can put the colors however you want. And if your reds and greens mix together, that is absolutely fine because if you get brown, that is one of the autumn colors, so it is actually perfect for today's project. And if you don't have these markers, you can use any yellows, orange, red or green from your stash. But all the products I use in today's project will be in the description down below so we can check them out. As you can see this is super quick and easy and then we need to spray a little bit of alcohol and use our air blower to move those colors around and blend them really beautifully. I also wanted to mention that in the description down below you can check my referral link for Rinia website and you can get 10% coupon code which is crafting with QL and you can use it that on Rinia website as well. Also in the description down below you can check my other tutorials I created for Rinia and all the links will be there so you can check them out and all my written tutorials with beautiful pictures. In the top right corner you can also check my other video where I created a floral butterfly home decor using alcohol inks on Rhenia fold paper. And going back to today's project, as you can see when you use those alcohol markers on this beautiful Rhenia fold paper, you can still see those beautiful tiny stars. And that is what's so absolutely unique about this paper. And I really think, and this is my honest opinion, for any card making projects or paper crafting projects, Rhenia fold paper and alcohol markers or alcohol inks, it is better than EPO paper because it is thinner so we can die cut or fussy cut elements easier. And I absolutely love playing with all those colors and moving them around with an alcohol and air blower. Trust me, if you have a chance, do it. It is so much fun to do. I really enjoy the process and you can create absolutely beautiful color combinations. If you haven't tried that technique, I really encourage you and I really hope you'll feel inspired to use that Rhenia fold paper and your alcohol markers or alcohol inks. Trust me, it is worth and actually it doesn't really take that long time and you'll have so much fun. And alcohol dries really quickly on Rhenia paper as well, so that is a great bonus. Now I'm going to stamp all my beautiful images, the pumpkin and all those autumn leaves using black stays on ink. And as I said before, all the names of the products will be in the description down below so you can check them out. And this thumb set that comes from Simply Cuts and Paper Craft issue 220 is absolutely perfect for any autumn project. It's actually called Autumn Blessings and it is perfect, absolutely perfect for those projects. So as you can see, I chose to have my pumpkins on the left hand side where I've got lots of 
orange and red and I made sure that that is exactly the same color combination on the back because we're going to fussy cut all those elements using scissors. Actually it doesn't really take that long but it is really worth the effort even if you don't have these matching dies. Now I'm going to pull that string using hot glue gun. Make sure you don't touch that glue. It is super, super hot and we don't want you to burn all your fingers. Trust me, I've done it in the past and I don't want you to do it. And to make it easier for yourself, you can actually use a pokey tool. So instead of touching the string, you can use a pokey tool. And that works absolutely fine with any glue gun projects I've done in the past. And I really encourage you to do the same. And when you finish with the string, I usually finish exactly in the same place where I started because then it is so much easier to cover any mistakes. And I'm going to attach a little bit of string at the top of my glass jar just for extra sparkle, maybe not sparkle, but interest. And I really like that technique. It doesn't take that long, but it is super beautiful. And now when we've got the string ready, our glass jar ready, now it is that time to put all our elements together. And I'm doing a dry run first because I wanted my pumpkin to be our centerpiece here. So first I put two of the leaves on the sides and then I'm going to adhere that beautiful pumpkin in the middle. So that way the leaves will be behind our pumpkin. Super quick and easy and I wanted just a little bit of symmetry on, on my project because I really like symmetry in any project. If you have seen any of my videos, you know it is my go-to and I really encourage you to try it with any any projects. And I wonder if you have ever created or decorated a candle holder. If you have, what did you use it for? Did you use it as a birthday gift or did you decide to keep it at home and just have it in your bathroom or living room? Please let me know in the comments down below. I also wonder if you have ever used these beautiful autumn stamps with leaves and pumpkins for any other project than paper crafting. I'm really curious. Have you ever used them for home decor projects? If you have, how did you use them? I'm really curious. And to make my project even more special here, I decided to have the second pumpkin exactly on the back where the first one is. Maybe it doesn't make that sense here, but trust me when you see that finished project, you will know what I mean. And I really encourage you to play with any composition with those small elements. It is so much fun and you can create absolutely beautiful and unique projects. I really, really encourage you to create something for Autumn. And as I said, it doesn't have to be for someone else. You can keep it. And what I absolutely love with any candle holders, when you put it against the wall, you really get that nice silhouette shadow. And here, I can't show you in the video, but in real life, you can absolutely see that silhouette on the wall. And I really, really love it. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up and leave a comment. I really appreciate any words. On the left, you can also check my other video where I created a bridge card using the same stamp set. And on the right, you can check my photo frames with Rhenia fold papers for autumn. Have a lovely day.